Hello, this is Ken Piper Sensei, and I'm going to take a few moments to teach you how to tie your bell. This is one of our requirements for our gray belts going to tan bell. So I'm just going to take a few moments and teach you this. So to begin with, we're going to start with our belt, and you're going to have it folded in half. You want it folded in half right in the center, and you're going to take that center and put it right on your stomach or just above your waist, and you're going to pull it around, you cross behind you, bring it to the front, and what you do is, a lot of people say, you're going to take the left over the right and the right over the left. Now what they mean by that is you lay the right side down, see this is my right side, I'm going to take the left one and I go over the top, I pull underneath, now here's the important thing, I go under both belts, I don't just roll through the one belt, I'm actually also going under the belt that's on my stomach. A lot of students miss this and it makes a big difference in the way the belt looks as well as actually being able to keep it tied. Then once you have that, once you've gone left over right, you take now the one that's on the right, you go over and in between, and once you do that, in this part it's almost like I'm just doing shoelaces. I'm just simply taking it over and I'm pulling through and I go to yank sideways and once I yank it sideways there should be a little V you should see like a V or almost looks like a U or I heard somebody once say it looks like a fortune cookie I think that's a fine description and now you know you have your belt tied right okay I'm going to do it up close so that way you can see it better so once again you see I have the belt on the stomach you see I just crossed it in the back okay so now, once again, I'm going to lay one side down. I'm going to take the left side. So I'm going to turn sideways this way so you can see this a little better. If I'm taking the left and I go over, and then I pull it underneath, you see how I went over both belts, okay? There's no space in between them, and I'm pulling them. And then from here, I take now the right one, and I go over. I'm pulling it over and in between, so it just almost like I do shoelaces. And then from here, you just simply yank to the side. And once again, there should be a U or a V right here. Okay, and that's again how you know you tied your belt correctly. Um, I'm now going to do it from back here again. But I'm also going to explain it the way I like to say it in class. Okay, so once again, just to explain it in a little different way. You're here, and you start with it in the center. You put that in the middle of your body. And once again, you just wrap it behind you. And then what I like to say is I like to say you take one side and go over both belts. And the part that you pull through, okay, see this, this one that you pull right through is the same one that goes over the other belt and goes in between. And then when you pull it sideways, once again, you'll see that I have that same little U or V shape, okay? And that, again, is a requirement for our gray belts going to tan belts. And uh, one thing that you will notice is that the instructors do wrap the belt a little differently than the way we teach the students. So I do want you to be aware of that in case you see an instructor putting their belt on or you just happen to be looking at their belt and you notice that's wrapped a little differently than the students. That's because the instructors do put it on a little differently in our school. Otherwise, hopefully this helps you in knowing your requirement. This is for the second black stripe. After you've done your vocabulary words for your first black stripe, your second black stripe is to be able to tie your belt as a gray belt going to tan belt. And so I hope this helps you with your requirement.